Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this video we're going to be talking about knurling a valve guide and the pros and cons of knurling a valve guide. Valve guides have gotten a bad rap. The reason they have a bad rap is because people use knurling valve guides when they should be replacing a valve guide. Don't knurl a valve guide if the valve guide needs to be replaced. If it is extremely loose, knurling a guide would be just a patch. It may work a week or two, it may work a month, but it ain't going to work very long. The guide should have been replaced. So. If the guide is just slightly loose, a few tenths, five tenths, and you want to tighten up the clearance, the knurling valve guide is the proper procedure to use. In fact, the knurling valve guide would probably last longer than a non-knurled valve guide. A lot of the aftermarket guides will have a spiral groove cut into it for oil. That's basically what knurling a valve guide is. It's putting a spiral cut in the guide to tighten up the clearance. It looks like a tap, and it is just a tapered, I'll have to do a close-up on this so we can show you. May put it up here, doing a close-up right now while I'm talking about it. But it's slightly tapered and it has teeth in it and it's just like a tap. And you're gonna run this through the guide and while you run this through the guide and you're cutting a spiral groove through the guide, just like plowing a field, if you run a plow down a dirt field, the sides of the dirt that the plow went in are gonna be raised because it moved the dirt from there up to the top. Like plowing a field, when you cut a spiral cut in the guide, it's going to expand the metal to the sides of it because it's going to raise it. Then we're going to come in with a reamer, a proper size reamer, and we're going to cut the high spots and get it back to factory specs. I'll show you in an illustration, maybe, possibly, um, how it's doing that and why it's doing that. Okay, here we have a knurler. And what it's going to do is inside of the valve guide, it's too loose, right? So when you run this through the guide, what it's gonna do is gonna put a bunch of little cuts in the guide. B basically, just like that. We're gonna run this through, then it's gonna put these all the way through it. It's gonna put a spiral all the way through the inside of the valve guide. By running this through there, if you were to take metal and put a cut in it, what's gonna happen is on both sides of that, it's gonna rise. So every time that we do that, it's gonna do this, through the guide. Then we're gonna come in here and run a reamer and hit those high spots. And that's how it sizes the guide and makes it tighter. So by running this through there, we cut those grooves in there, we have high spots, the valve is not gonna go in. And then we're gonna ream it back to size. When we ream this back to size, it's gonna be nice and smooth inside and it's gonna be tighter. That's why we don't want a valve guide that's like this. And we try to come in here and cut some threads in here. And it's not threads, it's knurling it. It doesn't do anything over here. And then we think that that's gonna last very long. It will get tighter and it'll feel good, but these spikes are gonna be really, really on the tall side. These are gonna be just the normal ones. After a while, it's gonna wear out really fast. The valve going up and down, it's gonna just wear this out extremely fast. And if you have this, don't do a guide. You want a guide that's just, maybe, I'm talking about one thousandths, I'm talking about five tenths, five tenths to one thousandths loose, and I wanna just tighten it up just a little bit. Well, that's okay. That would be an okay to do. If it's loose, don't do it, you're gonna have a problem. So this would be the cons, and this would be the pros. All right, so if a guide is just slightly loose, go ahead and do it. If it's totally loose and it's all worn out, don't do it, it's not gonna last long, but there is a reason to do it. All right, Beep. there you go. All right, when should you knurl a valve guide? A valve guide should be knurled if it's just slightly loose and it doesn't have a lot of taper in the guide. If the bottom of the guide is really, really loose and the top is tight, you don't want to really use a, a knurl to go in there and try to straighten out a guide. It's already too loose. Replace the guide. If it's just slightly loose, this is a perfect tool to use to tighten up the clearances. If you want to just get... All right, we'll have another video discussing replacing of the guides. Cast iron, bronze, you want a bronze liner, you want a solid bronze, you want a silicone bronze, 
that's another video. Hit the like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see a lot of different options on valve guide repair or replacement. But for now, all right, let's go out to the shop and I'm going to show you how to nurl the guide and then ream the guide. It's not that difficult. It's actually quite easy. Let's just get out there and do it. I'm going to put a little bit of cutting all on it. Use any kind of lubrication that you want. I heard some of y'all laughing. This is a speed reducer. So as it turns here, this is a different speed. It's a speed reducer. And I want to run it slow. If you don't have a speed reducer, you can just buy the knurler and then just slow down your drill. Sorry for the shaking on the camera. And you see this? You're going to see it come out right here. All right, so I've just knurled the guide. Use my hand. Let's get this a little closer. I'll do another one even. There you can see. I've just knurled the guide. Hopefully I don't get any of this on the camera lens. So sorry for the shaking, trying to get you a little closer to what I'm doing. All right, the valve will not go in the hole because it's been knurled. Now what do we want to do? We want to run a reamer with some lubrication. And I'm going to come up on it, not try to do it all in one cut. All right. Watch your eyes. I like to even turn it because now we have like threads cut in the hole. All right. We're still a little on the tight side. Go ahead and take it to the next size. Lubrication. Let's open up this bore a little bit. That's it. All right. All right. That's it. This guide is done now. And uh, this is something you could do at home. This is really a, a what? A knurler and a reamer. And we're done. Let me move this over and I'll try to do another one. Or should I do one from another angle? I'm going to change the angle so you can see it from the back side. Y'all stop that. Let's start with All right. Here we go. I have some lube on it. Here's our knurler. You see it? It's just like cutting threads. We're going to go ahead and use our speed reducer. You don't have to push to do anything because it's like cutting threads. It just screws itself right through there and out the other side. We're going to go ahead. I like to just don't do it in one cut, but do a few cuts. There's one. Let's not forget to clean the bore. So I like to even turn it and get everything out of the little groove that it cut. All right, we need the next size. A little honing lube. So all this is is a reamer to the proper size. And you can buy these. This is 312. You can buy them 343, 11 32 This is like 516s. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That, that to me is perfect because once I clean it and run the valve in there a few more times, 
it's going to be perfect. And the beauty of a knurled guide is that you can actually run it a little tighter than any other kind of guide, than, a, than the factory guide or than a bronze guide. In a bronze guide, we actually want to leave a little extra clearance because the bronze will stick. I'm going to leave that there. That is just perfect. Oh, my. Oh, we still got to knurl that one. And I got that one. Let's go ahead, not knurl it, let's go ahead and, and ream it. I've already knurled it. Let's go ahead and ream this dude right here. I think we've already reamed it one time. And all right, so we've knurled the guide and we've reamed the guide. Mm -hmm. And this all right, is hope you've enjoyed it. It's real simple, quick, how to knurl a guide. As for me, I'm gonna get back to work and do this vow job. See you the next time. See you next time. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again, but we know what I mean. All right, we're back. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a real simple procedure. It's real easy to do. It two tools a reducer if you don't have a reducer slow your drill down that's it um there is a right way and a wrong way to do it and there's a right place and a wrong place to do it all right hope you've enjoyed that as for me i'm going to get back to work and go ahead and finish that valve job we'll see you on the next one All right, I hope this helps. I hope it's been informative. I hope it's been educational. If nothing else, entertaining. If it has, hit me a like, hit me a subscribe, send me a message, tell me that this is working, not working. I'm trying to get videos out there, but I also have to do a lot of work. We don't want to go there. All right. All right, has this been informative, educational? Inf eh, none of those, those are both. Not really working today. It's not working. It is working, you're just questioning yourself. Okay, all right. All right, let's go out to the shop and I'm gonna show you how to knurl a guide and then ream the guide to size. I think the best way instead of me you're talking about it is go out there and let's do it. Beep.